I'm Mrs Wetton and I'm the careers leader at Davenant. I'm one of a dedicated careers team which comprises myself, Mrs Wood, the careers coordinator, and Mr Willems, our independent external careers advisor. We're very fortunate to work with some highly experienced teachers here at Davenant, as well as numerous employers, training providers and educational organisations such as colleges and universities. And with all of our links and networks, we provide all of our six forms with a careers programme that will help you to seize life's opportunity, both now and in your future. As I've said, everything we do in the careers programme is about enabling you to seize life's opportunity. And we do this in three ways. Number one, self-development. This is about enabling you to understand yourselves and to develop your capabilities and your strengths. Number two, careers exploration. Throughout everything we do in the careers programme and also in your A-levels, we want to allow students to investigate every single careers option and opportunity you have, whether that's through experiences of work, whether that's through assemblies, whether that's through employer talks, whether that's through market information, we want you to explore all the careers on offer to you. Thirdly, career management. We want you to be able to take all the information and experiences that are out there and distill that information to implement your careers plan. What are you going to do in your future? And where are you going to go after Davenant? It may seem crazy that I'm talking about your future career and leaving Davenant sick form before you've even joined. However, we know through our experience that it's important that we start preparing you as early as possible for the future careers that you may go into and any higher education you may need to do along the way. Our job as a careers team is to ensure a planned programme of activities during your time in sick form, creating experiences that give you access to the working world and higher education and to help you choose the pathway that suits your skills, abilities and your interests. So do you have an idea of what you want to do in the future? If you do, that's great and we can support you in achieving it. If you don't, please don't worry as that's what we're here for. We'll provide the people and resources you need to help you make these decisions in a straightforward way. You might be thinking, well, what do people generally do after Davenant? You can always see this on our destinations board in the Zip Form Centre. However, last year, the majority of students went into university or apprenticeships. 86% went to university, 3% having a gap year first, and 4% undertook apprenticeships, most of which were degree apprenticeships. But don't just take it from me. Hear it from our students and employers explaining what the careers programme is like from their perspective. Hello, I'm Katie and I'm currently studying at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. So I was offered a flute scholarship to go and study there back in Christmas of 2018. Um, so when I was in year 13, um, yeah, and I've just finished my first year. The audition process for Guildhall is quite different for from unis because it's a specialist music performance conservatoire. So I had to do a audition process where I had to play in front of different panels and have an interview before they offered me the place and the scholarship. Davenant were really good in helping me through this because it was so different to UCAS, none of my friends were doing any of the same applications that I was, so I was very much, I felt like I was on my own um, within my year, but the school still kind of worked out exactly how to do it all and helped me know what forms to like upload where um, and it was really helpful to have that support from the different teachers into how to actually get there in the first place. The music department were also so good in this because they've all been through it, they've all been through like music college um, so they knew how to prepare me for my audition and my interview and give me extra tips um, which really helped me to get, get the place um, and also through all of the different ensembles and orchestra and band and everything I was getting all this experience that was helping me to not only have something to say in my interview like oh yeah in school I'm in orchestra and I'm in concert band but also I had this experience um, of what it was like playing in ensembles and stuff which I think really gave me an extra edge 
um, in my audition process. So I would say any time you get offered any opportunities to just take them because every opportunity that they give you in sixth form is just a different thing you, that you can use to get to your uni or to your apprenticeship or anything you can do. So I did that with music, um, I took every band, every orchestra, every choir I could be in, I was there all the time and I just say so whatever they offer you just 100% take it because it will be worth it when you're auditioning and stuff, well when you're applying for universities or auditioning as I did. Hello, my name's Ruth Slater from the Department of Work and Pensions and over the last few years it's been my privilege and pleasure to work with students at Davenant School and conducting mock interviews. So the idea is to give them kind of a flavour, a taste of what um, an employer might be looking for in an interview and to experience some of those interviews, some of those typical interview questions for the first time. Um, I, it's a pleasure working with the, the young people because they have a wealth of experience to draw on. There's so many examples they can give from their volunteering, from their work experience, from their academic achievements, from their sporting achievements, their artwork. And it's kind of um, just to kind of make them kind of understand that how the, the qualities um, they have and the examples they give are just of so much interest and are so relevant to the jobs they may be applying for. It's been an absolute pleasure and I wish you all well. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hi everyone, so my name is Declan and I've created this short video to explain to you my experiences at Davenant as a student and with particular emphasis on the post 18 options available and how to make the most out of that. So I joined as an external to Davenant um, straight away. I came from a school in East London and I came to Davenant for sixth form. I took A levels in English literature, history and music, um, which is a fairly common combination. I also took an EPQ, which is like a separate um, dissertation on the side. You'll learn more about that later if you haven't already. And I knew quite early on that I wanted to apply to uni. Not everyone does, and that's fine. A lot of people I know went through other routes as well, apprenticeships, employment. Um, those are really solid options. They work really well for some people, and the careers um, department will work really well for you. But I applied through UCAS to my five unis. I got offers from all five, and I accepted, um, I firmed my offer from Oxford University to study music. Um, so I'm just going to give a brief talk about how I went about doing that and how you can kind of make the most out of your time at Davenant and achieve whatever goals you might have for your post-16, sorry, post-18 options. So the main tips I would say is the first thing you want to do is hit the ground running with your work. So even though there is a big emphasis on look at what you want to do post-18, you need to make sure that you know that you're trying your best for now in the work you've been given. So don't leave it all to pile up towards the end. Make the most out of the time you have at the start when the workload's a bit easier in year 12 and use that time to, you know, at the end of the topic, make flashcards, make mind maps, whatever works for you to make sure that the grades are going as well as they can. Outside of the work in that academic sense, make sure you're making the most out of opportunities at Davenant. So things like enrichment, um, which gives you really great extracurricular stuff to put on your CV, personal statement, etc. You also do work experience in year 12, which can be really good. That came up a lot in my interviews at university um, and my university applications, that came up a lot. So that was a really good thing to make the most out of as well. Um, also try and plan your post six form route as early as you can. You can't expect everyone to know very early on. I knew fairly early on, but it doesn't matter if you don't, but just have it in the back of your mind that you're thinking what would work best for me? What kind of thing do I want to go into? The main advice I have always think is worth saying about that, go into something that not only are you obviously going to be good at, but also something that you're genuinely passionate about. So do something that you feel as though you really care about and that you're going to be happy spending however many years of your life doing going forward. Also based on the decision there, you should be emphasising different things. So if you're quite focused on uni and you think you want to go for the UCAS route, you know, start planning your personal statement, start visiting open days, even with the COVID-19 situation, you know, online open days, um, yeah, different prospectuses, that kind of thing. If you were looking at apprenticeships or employment, which a lot of people I know were, um, be getting your CV ready, be getting some kind of work experience, internship, that kind of thing is really important as well. Um, the careers department can help you a lot with your post-18 options. If you're not 100% sure, 
they can give you advice, they have a big library, careers library of information, everyone's really helpful, so they'll guide you through the process as best they can as well. And lastly, I'd say the most important tip for it is try not to stress too much about the whole process. It might seem very difficult with what everyone says about A-levels, you know, people say it's very stressful and that it can overwhelm you, but at the end of the day we are all in the same boat. And with a good combination of planning and getting the support you need from family, friends, staff, whoever else, you will be fine. You know, your A-levels don't determine you as a person, your academic success doesn't. And at the end of the day, as long as you're trying your best to make sure that you're getting to where you need to be, then that's more than good enough. So, that's fine. Good luck. So do you have an idea of what you want to do in the future? If you do, that's great. We can support you in achieving it. If you don't, Please don't worry, as that's what we're here for. And we'll provide the people and the resources you need to help you make these decisions in a straightforward way. I hope that gives you a taste of our sixth form programme. We're looking forward to seeing you here in our careers library next year and giving you further information on all the activities we have in store for you. And we look forward to meeting you.